This is gonna be good. WWE Universe, it's time to play the game. Make no mistake about it, the King of Kings is here. The following contest is a steel cage match. Making his way to the ring from Greenwich, Connecticut. Weighing in at 255 pounds. The Game Triple H. I have been waiting a long time for this one. The Cerebral Assassin against the Human Wrecking Machine. Buckle up, gentlemen. There's a storm coming. No turning back now for the game. This is a match that could define the future for Triple H here in WWE. Triple H looking for retribution from Lesnar breaking his arm. Retribution for Lesnar breaking his best friend Shawn Michaels' arm. It's very important that Triple H not allow his emotions to get the best of him here tonight. comes the beast and his opponent from Minneapolis Minnesota weighing in at 295 pounds the WWE Universal Champion, Brock Lesnar! The most decorated combat athlete in history. Brock Lesnar is hazardous to your health. I felt the wrath of Brock Lesnar. You don't want to get in the ring with this man. You don't want to get in the ring with him. You don't want to get in the cage with him. You don't want to eat breakfast with him. Brock Lesnar will hurt you wherever he's at. I'm trying not to make eye contact with him. The most decorated combat athlete in the world. We all know the only way to win this steel cage match is by submission, pinball, or by escaping over the top or through the cage door and planting two feet on the ground. But with these superstars, it's impossible to say which way it'll end. Well, that's why the WWE Universe loves a steel cage match. So many ways it can end. I've seen superstars use a steel door as a weapon, get their face slammed into the steel mesh, and get knocked down from the top. Time will tell here. Yeah, I'm always interested to see a superstar's approach. Are they going to play defense and knock their opponent off the walls? Are they going to attack and try to scramble out of the ring themselves? There are so many options on the table. There may be a lot of options, but when you're locked in a steel cage with a superstar looking to take your head off, none of them are good. Uh-oh. Full mount. Hammer fists. Striking at will. The ref might want to stop this one. Oh. Striking at will. And he begins his ascent up the cage wall. Getting ever so close to the very peak of the steel cage. Oh, a strong impact. Both the red face oh. first. Ripped from the top rope. Oh, no. He comes off the cage and lands right back in the ring. Yeah, he's going to have to try something else now. Oh, foot just stomping down. Ah, oh, there's a running knee. 
Corey, we know the steel cage offers a big advantage for anyone willing to use it as a weapon. But is there a disadvantage to the structure, too? Well, Cole, I can tell you one thing that will be hindered by the cage, and that's any sort of speed advantage. Any and all attempts to pick up the pace are going to be confined to the ring. Uh-oh, position in. Measuring. In oh, knee drop. Woo! Brock here now, not used to being without the momentum. I must give credit. Catching Brock like this is an incredible challenge. He's in a little bit of trouble now. Yeah, this has been grueling. The story of this cage match is getting written on these competitors' bodies. Did you hear that impact? Lord Buster! Uh-oh, position in. Measuring. In oh, knee drop! Woo! Both arms hooked. Pedigree. That's the game changer. Heading up and maybe heading out. the top of the cage and as he continues to climb the side of the cage you have to think his confidence is starting to build looks like he's having trouble getting that other leg over and at the very top he gets a grip on him he was halfway home Lesnar on the wrong side of that exchange he's working toward making his escape he can almost taste the win in this cage match heck of a view from up there but he'll enjoy a view from the floor even more Looking pretty precarious up there at the top. Veteran instincts from Triple H. And would you look at that? He could be well on his way to escaping the steel cage. The longer he's up there, the more fear starts to seep into... No way! Oh, my God! Falling to the earth with nothing to break your fall. That's a costly mistake. Takes incredible guts to make this climb. Oh, no. Oh, no! Crash landing! And a hellacious fall from the cage. Oof, kind of a rough landing. That's what you gotta expect in a steel cage match, Saxton. Oh. Big time clothesline. Good grief. Vice-like grip on the trapezius muscle. This is terribly painful. Being carried around with ease. Oh, that's gonna hurt! You see the trademark dominance of Triple H. It's time for Triple H to unload on Lesnar. German after German by Brock. Oh no. Lesnar's about to end this. There might be nothing left in Triple H. Oh, my God. Very few superstars. Yes, he didn't come here to watch him boast and taunt. Nice right hand. Oh, Ooh, what a knee lift. Somebody better check his nose. Chuck block! Brilliant. Right to the back of the knee. Triple H looking to end this match. Out thinking the cerebral assassin. Go behind. Suplex City. Pop. He thinks he has it. And a kick out at only one. Right now, I just don't know what it's going to take. Strong impact from Triple H. He's focused on breaking down his opponent's core right now, taking away the center of all movement. Oh, dropping the bow. And in the corner he 
he goes. A perfectly placed target. Oh, look at this. Raining right hands. No escape from these punches. Oh, man. Close line. And look here. He's making his way up the cage. Needs to be careful, though. Every movement is a dangerous one. He's made it to the top, but can he finish? And victory looking more and more likely for him now in this steel cage match. He doesn't want to spend too much time up there. And he pulls him back into the cage. He's going to be kicking himself for that. God, Triple H counters. Oh, look at the knees. Precision strikes. Close line. Uh-oh, position in. Measuring. In oh, knee drop. Woo. Uh-oh, capture. Driven into the knee. No. Oh, oh, oh. Triple H has him set up! Pedigree! Triple H has this all sewn up. And here we go. He's headed up the cage. The sprint up the cage is on. At the top, but he still has a way to go to end this. Byron, grab your little dog and warn your aunt. At five. Oh, my. The game down might be it for Triple H. I'm absolutely stunned. A display of near superhuman resilience. After seeing that, it's hard to imagine what it's going to take to keep this competitor down. Lesnar is pissed off now. Lesnar doesn't get paid by the hour. He wanted this to be over seconds ago. Outright presentation of power there. Lesnar and Triple H might need to resort to desperate measures at this point. Two titans at war, and both have given it all in battle. Oh, and he stays ahead of Triple H. And every inch climb puts you in a more perilous position. He's making haste, climbing up the cage wall. And would you look at that? He could be well on his way to escaping the steel cage. He just has to swing that leg over. He's working toward making his escape. He can almost taste the win in this cage match. All he has to do is drop down to the floor, and his hand will be raised. Oh! Stopped right in the middle of the climb. Uh-oh! Face first! Crashing to the mat! And he's thrown from the cage down to the mat. Yeah, he's going to have to try something else now. He's determined to make it to the top of the cage here, guys. It's going to take a lot of willpower to make it all the way to the top. And now he's at an impasse at the top of the cage. And as he continues to climb the side of the cage, you have to think his confidence is starting to build. Oh, it's not safe being up there. Triple H with the counter. And victory looking more and more likely for him now in this steel cage match. Fought so hard to be in this position, but he's only halfway to victory. Very precarious position here. Oh, he almost had it. Inches away from victory. Yeah, he really thought he had it there. He's got the answer for that one. And victory looking more and more likely for him now in this steel cage match. And now the climb down could be more petrifying than the climb up. This is it! This is it! They can practically taste it! Oh, man. Almost made it to the top without a care in the world. No, I can imagine they care about a few things right now, Saxton. He's nearly there. Just a few more sure-footed steps, and he's victorious. Looks like he's having trouble getting that other leg over. 
He's got daylight. Oh, this is over. Nothing stopping him now. And he wins. Oh, oh ouch. Oh, face oh, full of steel. Crashing to the mat. Unceremoniously set right back down to the canvas. Oh, that could not have felt good. Oh, no. Oh, no. Crash landing. Ah, oh, he takes a painful fall from the cage. Yeah, he's going to have to try something else now. Uh-oh. Pedigree. Unloading their best shot once more. Got to wonder if the stamina is there to make it all the way. And now he has finally been able to reach the top of the cage. And as he continues to climb the side of the cage, you have to think his confidence is starting to build. Heck of a view from up there, but he'll enjoy a view from the floor even more. There's the bell, and he survives this brutal cage match. Here is your winner, the game, Triple H. Triple H did it. Triple H has conquered Brock Lesnar. Both warriors fought hard, but in the end, the game had enough to slay the beast. I can't believe what we just witnessed. Triple H and Brock...
You are looking at a one-of-a-kind superstar. Former Intercontinental Champion, United States Champion, WWE Champion. Plenty of hardware to back up his success. The following contest is an Extreme Rules match. Making his way to the ring from Gainesville, Georgia. Weighing in at 218 pounds. The Phenomenal AJ Styles. From where they've been in their career to where they are today, this is indeed a dream match between AJ Styles and Finn Balor. The Prince has arrived. A decorated champion who has truly reinvented himself. And his opponent from Bray County, Wicklow, Ireland. Weighing in at 190 pounds. Finn Balor! This is a man who is already one of the greatest NXT superstars in history, but truly cemented his legacy by returning and dominating as NXT champion once again. Well, now he's set to dominate any roster that Finn Balor targets. You know, I don't know if it's just me, or does Finn Balor just keep getting cooler every year? Saxon, when it comes to being cool, you are one man I will never ask. You can see the intense focus and drive in the eyes of Finn Balor. When it comes to Finn Balor, it's always about competing at the highest of levels. This is the type of match where anything can happen right away. Corey, what can we expect? Well, you're going to see a lot of chaos. It's all about who can control the chaos the best. There are no limits, and every resource is at a superstar's disposal. He got whipped into that corner. Stomp right on the knee. Slight shot right across the back of the neck. Ouch. Perhaps thinking about what to do next here. Can't prepare your face for that. AJ Styles. Knee drop! Oh. 
brought down with a snapmare. Balor's lost momentum here. Finn Balor's under the gun. Oh, that might have just broke. And look at this now. Bad intentions coming with this hold. Expertly applied triangle. AJ Styles is in trouble. Able to free himself of the triangle. Sidekick finds the mark. Now, this is the kind of match where you can really push the bounds of damage you can inflict. I'm not saying that a no disqualification match should mean carte blanche to do whatever you want to someone, but it does provide an opening to be creative in your offense. So be creative. Oh, my goodness. There's the jumping knee drop. So precise. Stomping. Ouch. Look at this. Snap suplex. Big flying forearm. Uh-oh, looking to lock it in. I have no idea how he hasn't tapped out yet. We're going to free the arm and does just that. Uh-oh. What an elbow drop. Right to the heart. Look at this. Oh, man. That is the attitude of a daredevil. The ability to take risk with minimal trepidation. No fear. Absolute reckless abandon. Four. Smash! He's looking a little weary now. Showing a lot of fortitude in this Extreme Rules match for sure, but not sure how much more tenable it could be. Styles taking it by surprise. Ooh, well planted knee. Ouch. Striking. Launched over the railing into the crowd. No count from the official, but he makes it back to ringside. Now that'll do some serious damage. Measured knee drop. Oh, this, this is getting out of control. Finn Balor has seen better days. Styles T and Balor up, set to finish things. Counters, this could be an opportunity. What grace, float over into the DDT. Fight AJ Styles looking a little out of his element. Big flying form. What Styles got in mind here? Oh my goodness! Hit that just as hard as his opponent does! Absolutely no telling what's underneath the ring tonight. With all this in mind, take it from me. Nothing good ever comes from rearranging furniture. He's got a plan for that table, and it does not involve a dinner party. What's he open to find down there? He's got his hands on a sledgehammer. Total chaos is about to be unleashed. It looks like... Setting up for a suplex. Looking to finish things off. Boom! Wow! Able to prevent Styles' attack. He deflects it right back. Finds its mark. Balor shows the wherewithal. Beautiful shot block. 
Absolutely no telling what's underneath the ring tonight. Sledgehammer connects. That'll scramble your insides. Any one of these attacks could cause irreparable damage, but I don't think you can come back from this many. Okay, he's re-entering the ring. Ah, oh, took off the... Uh-oh! Ah, uh -oh. oh, straight to the floor! Brash decision-making there proved to be extremely detrimental. Can you recover from such an error? You have to wonder. And a counter. A counter by Styles. Reversal! What a counter! He is delivering elbow after elbow. This lands, it's over. Styles clash! And that could make short work of Finn. Styles and Balor are going beyond expectations. And the WWE Universe is up in full appreciation for what they are witnessing. We've already seen a few shots delivered up in that region. And Zagiri finds its mark. Uh-oh, he's searching for something. The ladder. Things are about to get very interesting and dangerous. Oh, that's a hard kick. Now it's time that just right. Look at this now, draping his opponent over the announce desk. fight. AJ's looking for it. Styles clash. Will it pay off for Styles? Ooh, treading all over their opponent. Styles on full display. AJ's really turning it up now. He's getting a ladder set up outside the ring. There's a lot of directions this could go. Not sure what his plan is. Turned around on Styles. Quick strike to the lower body. Snapmare takeover. Not safe yet. Into the ring again. He'll head to the ring. Come on. There's no fair play in that. being kept on Balor. Styles really not letting up on Balor here at all. It's a table. I'm not sure what he's scheming, but it can't be good. And he's able to reverse. Oof. 
fishing for something beneath the ring. Good timing with that reversal. Another reversal. Eye for an eye here. And Finn was ready for that. Sliding back into the action. Returning to the ring now. Style just unloading on his opponent. Phenomenal blitz. AJ still holding the upper hand now. Finn's getting exposed. That's just hard to watch. And Zagiri finds its mark. And he goes into the ring. Whoa, not quite yet. This is truly awesome. And Finn Balor connected nicely there. Rocked his opponent. And he was able to turn that around on Balor. Look at this, just punishing the knee. Shot after shot after shot. Hammer it away. Taking it outside the ring now. And he'll leave the ring for this next stretch. What a reversal by AJ Styles. Strong takedown there. Whatever's playing here can't be good. Gets him with the counter. Kick right to the leg. That'll sting. Reversal after reversal. These two are ready for each other. Styles a step ahead. Well scattered reversal there. That's a forearm that'll floor you. Oh, God. The steps connect. That hurt me just watching. Is it? Ducking out of trouble. Oh, that's not going to be good. Turned that one around. Look at this. Snap suplex. Snap in the arm. Setting up. Ah, uh, shin breaker. Not done yet. Dragon screw. Beautiful. Finn able to get out of the way. Counter after counter. Lands. Kick right to the back of the leg. Both knees into the face. And Styles is taking a lot of offense now. A series of disabling maneuvers from Finn. That's gotta hurt. Shining Wizard finds the mark. What's he open to find down there? I guess he thinks the one thing missing in this match is a steel chair. Bang! Just one right after the other. Can't be stopped. Gets inside the ring. Ooh. Yeah. Up and... 
three count right here. I think so. Makes a cover. Somehow, some way, they weathered the storm. This one from every part of the world. This match was about high stakes in both the western and eastern parts of the globe, and Finn Balor went beyond phenomenal tonight. Wow, feast your eyes. A one-of-a-kind Croatian titan ready to stomp out the opposition.
The following contest is a Tornado Tag Team Match. Introducing first, from Kingsboro, Massachusetts, weighing in at 270 pounds, Dominic Dijakovic. Oh, he endeared himself to the WWE Universe and his peers with classic NXT matches. Dijakovic earned incredible respect through his hard work. A remarkable blend of size and agility. Yeah, he moves like a man half his size. Yeah, Dijakovic can also take to the skies. That makes him a rather intimidating opponent. Well, you know, this ominous tune is just a prelude to the toll of man. We await the appearance of the sinister, multi-time NXT champion. A competitor with seemingly no weaknesses, no fears. And here he is, Karrion Cross. Just a prelude to the unrelenting attack we are about to see from Karrion Cross. Chad Gable, big opportunity here tonight. And representing the Alpha Academy from Minneapolis, Minnesota, weighing in at 202 pounds, Chad Gable. Former NXT Tag Team Champion, SmackDown Tag Team Champion, one of the most self-assured superstars you will see in the WWE. Now making a name for himself on his own on Raw. And the official having so much trouble getting things under control, we might be about to see a no contest. Twice as many superstars means twice as much aggression. I do not envy the referee here. These teams have been waiting for this opportunity to get at each other, and tonight they finally get their chance. In this Tornado Tag Match, we will see Dominic Dijakovic and Karrion Cross, And in the other corner, they will be dealing with Chad Gable and Otis. There is absolutely nothing that can prepare you for the brutality that could take place in a match like this. I absolutely agree with... Oh, uh, hold on. Is he thinking of a submission here? Campbell clutches in. Look at the torque. And he very quickly counters. Start counting, Saxton. One, two, three. We could be here all day. Power. I think you're right. Rotating vertical suplex. Nicely done. Clubbing four. Producing a trampling. And a reversal by Otis. Oh, my goodness. He's not going to be able to pull this off, is he? Oh, is he? Yeah. Well-placed elbow drop. Close line. 
What impact. He's looking a little off balance. No, no. Oh, no, that'll break his arm. Vicious. Jumping elbow drop. Oh, and he doesn't connect. Back elbow. Jeez, did you see that? Ooh. Big boot. He's one step ahead there. Elbow smash. Finds a counter for Dijakovic. Oh, attacked in the midsection. Ooh! Nice suplex. He is truly feeling it right now. As well he should. And it's reverse pain for that mistake. Wow, look at the power. Gut wrench, German suplex. Did that just happen? Well executed suplex. Oh, oh, that'll break his arm. Vicious. A nice shot by Otis. Solid punch. Systematic attack from that arm. Boom. Ooh, solid contact there. Caught with a punch. He had it scouted. What a spine buster. He has to be at his limit now. Yeah, this is a dire situation right now. Punch connects. Driven down with a power bomb. Uh-oh. Destructive arm breaker. Face first with a waist lock takedown. Enough already. Elbow smash. Fisherman suplex. Choke slam backbreaker. A oh, timely counter by Cross. Oh wow, Chad Gable is a bloody mess. Take it down. Choke bomb. He could pin his opponent right here. It's over. Kick it out before the count. I'm just as shocked as everyone else, Cole. His opponent included. Boom. Able to reverse that one. Wasting absolutely no respect on his opponent. You gotta love it. Cross lining up his prey. Nice suplex. Oh, oh look at the cross jacket submission. And the attack from Otis avoided. Tap out. Do it now. Live the fuck. There it is. Choke slam backbreaker. This match is brutality starting to show on him. Oh, this in some and they score the win. What a tag match. Here are your winners. Dominic Dijakovic and Karrion Cross. Here are your winners of this tornado tag match. As an expert on tag team action, I got to applaud the way these men dealt with tornado tag rules.
And here comes the multi-time world champion. Making his way to the ring from Toronto, Ontario, Canada, weighing in at 249 pounds, the WWE Intercontinental Champion, the Rated R Superstar, Edge! I can't imagine what it must be like locked inside the unforgiving structure. The Prince has arrived. A decorated champion who has truly reinvented himself. And his opponents, first from Bray County, Wicklow, Ireland, weighing in at 190 pounds, Finn. The first ever Universal Champion, a multiple time Intercontinental Champion, NXT titles. What can't the Prince do? Well, it seems like year after year, Finn Balor just reaches greater heights in his career. The competition level has never been higher, but this guy's ready to prove he can hang. Oh, no. Oh, yes. The visionary, the revolutionary, Seth freaking Rollins has arrived. Well, certainly Seth Rollins has unmatched accolades, a championship resume, but a wardrobe that leaves a lot to be desired. Saxton, last time you saw that much drip, you called a plumber. And from Davenport, Iowa, weighing in at 217 pounds, Seth Rollins. 
There's only going to be one winner tonight. Well, my hat is off to every competitor brave enough to even consider entering the Elimination Chamber. A man who always considers himself main event material, an uncrowned champion. He wants to show exactly why here tonight. This man may be the greatest of all time, but he has to conquer the chamber. And from Gainesville, Georgia, weighing in at 218 pounds, the Hey, do you guys think when AJ Styles scratched and clawed for 20 years to finally make his way to WWE that he was going to expect entering the chamber? Well, AJ Styles lives his life prepared for absolutely any challenge that comes his way. He calls himself the standard bearer of this division and plans on... Ah, the Scottish warrior is ready for battle. Brandishing the King's Blade. This is a man who fought his way all the way to the top of WWE. WWE's hungriest stars add tons of unforgiving steel and remove all the rules. That is why Elimination Chamber is so devastating. superstars in the Elimination Chamber have an uphill battle as this match begins with Drew McIntyre and Riddle. And awaiting in their pods, you see Finn Balor, Edge, Seth Rollins, and AJ Styles. The environment is very unforgiving. The Chamber can be your worst enemy or your best friend. It's crucial to be the superstar who uses the steel to their advantage. Oh, the first strike didn't get you. The last one will. Stop in the leg. Great job anticipating Riddle. Look at this. Manhandling his opponent is Drew McIntyre. From the top. Diving elbow drop. Are you kidding me? He goes to the quick pin attempt. And a good strong kick out there. He needs a little more than that to end things this early. Ooh, well measured. Headbutt to the back of the neck. And return it. Arm is trapped. Uh-oh, in the clutches. Uh, this one's over. Tap. Arm is trapped, cross face, uh oh, uh oh, oh, oh. Nice way to transition out of it. Balor retaliates. And Finn Balor connected nicely there. Rocked his opponent. An elimination match is continuously evolving as the field whittles down. How can a superstar plan for that, Corey? 
Pacing yourself is key here, Cole. You can gas yourself trying to eliminate as many opponents as you can yourself, or you can be smart and bide your time to focus on eliminating the only one that matters, the last one. Oh, look at this. What a headbutt. Just mounted with punches. And not, oh, a nasty stop to finish it off. Looking for more damage here. Release back suplex. Ouch. As the wrist trapped. And now a series of stomps and kicks. Able to get the advantage here. Ooh. Oh, man, that was nasty. There's some power behind that punch. Right to the gut. Oh, brutal forearm. Right across the face. Oh. He'll take things into the ring. And another one. Incredible. Is it enough? And here's McIntyre sent flying into a rough landing. Couldn't quite slam the door yet. Out of the ring and on the chamber floor now. Outside the ring now, he has no need to rush. What are we going to see here? Oh, thrown asleep into the German suplex. Enough already. Drew McIntyre is bleeding profusely now. Good technique reversing Rollins. Boom, head first. And Edge answers back. Climbs back inside. He's staring his opponent down, getting into that zone. Oh, right in there. Kick to the gut. Ooh, brutal forearm. They just punch him in the chest. Catches a punch. Cover. Two. Finn Balor finds a way to stay in this. That was a long two count there. He climbs into the ring. Leaving the ring now to explore the chamber. Taking this to the floor. Pays off. Next breaker excellently executed. Caught the leg. There's some power behind that punch. Balor shows the wherewithal. Left by the turnbuckles. Ah, oh, flipping the script on him there. Single leg drop kick. Coming back in the ring. The sound of this crowd is deafening, and he's asking for more. Here's the sling blade. Basement drop kick. Well, targeting the stomach. Oh, quick oh. strike to the lower body. Well placed kick. Gut wrench suplex. Ooh, that hurt. Countered it just in time. And responds with a counter of their own. He thinks he has it. Oh, what a super kick from the architect. This could stop AJ Styles for a while. And you gotta think he's just one final blow away from not kicking out next time. It's just pure instinct at this point. Ball from the rope. Forced out of the ring. Rollins from up high. Riddle has him up. Oh, bro, Derek. Does Drew have the resiliency now? Sharp elbows to the body. Looking to Drew fight his McIntyre way out. has been eliminated. Rollins just a step too slow. Places to be in the Olympic. Riddle has him up. No, Derek! Riddle might just have it now. There's two. Oh, Balor with the counter. Jay Styles has been eliminated. The adrenaline is pumping, and the WWE Universe is on his side. After what we've seen so far, you cannot question the lengths these superstars are willing to go. The limits of physical exhaustion are being surpassed at this point. Single leg drop kick caught him. 
Oh, he retaliates. Oh, what a four. Drop kick. Oh, oh, great height. Balor's got him hooked. Up and down. 1916. Here he goes for the win. I powered out at two. I can't believe it. He just kicked out by a fraction of a second. He steps foot in the ring again. With the counter. Single leg drop kick caught him. Spear! Ken Rollins made a miracle. This could be it. Cover for the win. Kicks out. He just won't give up. Oh, stop it away. Oh, perfect kick. Oh, you can tell he, he can end it here. He's got him. Rollins got out of the way. No! Kick out at two. Getting dangerously close to ending it all there. You can sense it. This crap. Oh. Continue through the agony. It's obviously worth everything. Obviously worth every drop of sweat on the ground. Single leg drop kick caught him. Spear! Ballers. He's going for the pin. This could be it. Right into the pay window. Kick out. I thought it was finished off for sure. Not enough for the three count because into there's the cover. the shoulder up. Thought he had it. You gotta be kidding me. And Finn was ready for that. Oh man, you can see he is fit. Does he have him here? Sure, he's popping himself up, but he's also giving his opponent a chance to recover. Almost inhuman at this point. Oh, drop kick. Right on the money. Now the leverage in this match is in Edge's favor. Rollins has to devise a new plan. Great job refocusing to reverse that. The roar of this crowd has been building, and they are at a fever pitch right now. You can feel the anticipation growing with every second that ticks past in this match. And out of the ring he goes. Impressive reversal on Rollins. On the outside now. No place is safe in the elimination chamber, but the outside is especially dangerous. He's taking this to the floor now. Cover! Two! Oh, and an air fall! Incredible to think. After everything we've witnessed, we are still at a stalemate. Oh, that'll give you a whiplash. Ooh! Yeah. Right, here we go. See, he is feeling it now. He refuses to stay down. Pure instinct. Just continuing to dismantle their opponent. Into the ring now. And his eyes are piercing through the opposition now. Edge thwarting away the attack. Just like that, Rollins dodges. Except this is it. He gets the kick out after the one. He's still got life in this match. The rated R superstar with a wicked spear. That one has to end this. Cover! And Finn Balor was on the wrong end of that elimination. Single leg drop kick caught him. Just one step ahead. Sling leg. Oh, 
caught him. Uh-oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. For the win. Quick count after one. The fact that these superstars can still be moving at this point is beyond the realm of reality. We've got to acknowledge these fans, a packed arena, and we're hearing every single voice. It is loud and it is mad in here. Hoping to end it here. No, a two count. He refuses to stay down. Pure instinct. And that gets rescinded back to edge. Reversal on top of reversal. Mouth oh, relentless God. enough already. Oh man, single leg drop kick caught him. He is revving up the engine, he's not going to let anything stop him. Rollins dodges in the nick of time. Rollins looking for it. Yeah, right to the oh. back of the neck, and yet another damaging attack on it. Through the course of this match, Edge has been taken to boundaries he might have not expected. Oh, that'll turn your skin red. That'll turn your lights out. Big elbow. He's reeling, slowly getting up. That was an impressive match all around. And here is our winner. After that win, this superstar stock is rising, and they are dancing all the way to the pay window.
a multi-time WWE Champion, former Royal Rumble winner, one of the greatest of all time, Rey Mysterio. The ultimate underdog who is still a thrill to watch after 30 years. The following contest is a six-man ladder match. Making his way to the ring from San Diego, California. Weighing in at 175 pounds, Rey Mysterio. Hey, he's the biggest little man in WWE history. He's the greatest underdog we've ever seen. This is a superstar who's made a career of slaying giants and defying odds. First money. Now this is going to be good. Without a doubt, one of the greatest Lucha Libre stars in sports entertainment history. Break out your notepads because we are about to receive a master class in high flying. The following contest is the Money in the Bank ladder match. In this match, there are no pinfalls and no disqualifications. The first superstar to climb the ladder and retrieve the briefcase will be declared the winner, making his way to the ring from San Diego, California, weighing in at 175 pounds, Ray!
Gentlemen, I believe we are about to see a fight. Oh, no, no, no. I'll do you one better. We're about to find out who's next. You are looking at the personification of intensity. get paid by the hour. I don't expect this one to last very long at all. Goldberg about to explode with fury. The Apex Predator has arrived. And representing RK Bro from St. Louis, Missouri, weighing in at 250 pounds, one half of the Raw Tag Team Champions, the Viper, Randy Orton. A rare third generation super. Here comes the 16-time world champion. Well, not just a 16-time world champion, a Hollywood phenomenon, and a man who embodies the meaning of superstar. And from West Newberry, Massachusetts, weighing in at 251 pounds, John. John Cena is a man who's always practiced what he preached. He embodies never give up and hustle, loyalty, respect. Now, even his detractors have to admit Cena's dedication. He never gives anything less. The Beast. from Minneapolis, Minnesota, weighing in at 295 pounds, the WWE Universal Champion, Brock Lesnar! Emotionless, heartless, and hell-bent on absolute destruction. That, my friends, The head of the table, the tribal chief, protecting his Samoan family legacy on top of the food chain. A main eventer since day one, but now the tribal chief is tougher than ever. And from Pensacola, Florida, weighing in at 265 pounds, the WWE champion, Roman Reigns! While some people may question the change in Roman's attitude, you cannot deny he still works harder than anyone in WWE. And we always mention the importance of holding the contract in the Money in the Bank briefcase. I don't think its significance can ever be overstated. It's literally a life-altering opportunity. The chance to become a champion at the moment of your choosing, it's changed careers in the past, and I am sure we'll see it again. Big elbow drop. He 
he's outside the ring now. Hope he's got a plan. Picture perfect drop kick. While well, reaching the top of the ladder is the main objective here, Corey. What else should these superstars consider in a ladder match? You need to be sure of yourself. When it comes to placing the ladder or swinging it, you'd better be sure what you're doing, or it could cost you great. Classic Orton. Face crusher. Lesnar gets out of the way. Me right to the gut. Big boy. Strikes with a kick. Boom, what a punch. Oh, right to the gut. Oh, target acquired and destroyed. Back into the ring. Body shots over and over. One to the jaw and then... Whoa! Absolutely. I feel... Just an overbearing attack from Brock. Lesnar is calling the shots now. He's trying for it now. Gotta act fast. Hey, when you have the opening, why not go for it? Oh, God. This match grinded him down a little. He's able to combat out of Brock's grip. Oh, the ladder. Stiff kick. Getting that ladder set up nicely. Right in the center of the ring, Michael. Just punched him right in the mouth. Relentless. Face crusher. Talk about dismantling your opponent. Planted face first. He's heading back to the ring. Back in the ring now. Not with the ladder. Ouch. And now he's standing it right up in the middle of the ring. Right where it needs to be. He's heading for higher ground. Making their way up the ladder right now. This is a nerve-wracking situation. We've got some action in the air here. Look out below. Hanging with hands on the prize. For the love of God, just let go. What are you talking about, Saxton? Do not let go. And he's taking this to the outside now. And this might not have a pleasant ending. Bad predicament right here. Reigns turns that around to the outside. This could get wild. Got red suplex. Making it look easy. What a punch. Oh, it is aggression, just oh. pure brutality. Oh, God, easy. No, oh, oh, that'll break his arm. Vicious. Working his way up the ladder now. This is a critical moment. A win here would be a bit of a surprise. Oh, shot. Than this. For once, I agree with you. He's looking at it here, guys. Victory just a few inches away. Taking a bit of a chance here, Cole. Not a very well calculated one either. Oh, kick right to the back. He leaves the ring, and there's no countouts in this one. Going to the top here, guys. Looking to finish it. Punch him in the chest. Oh, ruthless striking. He catches Cena with a counter. Ooh, stiff punch. Big boot. Oh, oh look at the knee strikes. Gotta wonder what he's got in mind next. The wheels are turning. Hoisted up. Whipped over in a snap suplex. He's back into the ring. Mysterio, what's he gonna do? Oh my goodness! Fighting back with a counter. Oh, Kelly. Oh, Mysterio felt that, and I think he's done. That's it. Brock's got this. And back in the ring we go. You gotta wonder what he's thinking here, guys. I don't know if he is thinking. Reaching out, looking to get the win. I'd be shocked if this is it, Michael. Hey, don't look now, but that ladder is lined up perfectly. Showtime! Going right at him up there. You got to. Well, there goes that idea. Yeah, I'm not really sure climbing the ladder there was such a smart move. What a blow! Carefully measured right. He may be in a bad way here. This has been an absolutely punishing Money in the Bank match. Down in a hurry. 
He's doing a whole lot of gesturing, and it could cost him. Into the ladder. But Cole, that's not where you want to be at this point in the match. Ooh. Goldberg. From way up. Double axe handle connects. Oh, man. He gets back into the ring. Missed timing with that springboard. Picture perfect takedown. Right to the kidneys from behind. I don't know, climbing the ladder at this point seems to be a bit ambitious. Hey, it's never too early to try. Victory is within his grasp now. Just has to finish the job. Huge spot in this match right here, guys. Trying to try to get a quick victory here. Not a bad strategy. Going for it all. Interesting timing, to say the least. Into the turnbuckle. Taking head over heels. Outrageous athleticism. Haymaker connects. Uh oh. Oh, oh are you with me? Hitting me. Back of his neck. Powerless position to be in right now. The adrenaline is pumping, and the WWE Universe is on his side. Double axe handle. Ray had that well scouted. Quick oh. strike to the lower body. God driven face first. Climbing up top, he's got big plans. And an answer for the big dog. Oh, knees right to the gut. Waist lock. Oh, oh, that that belly. Belly. Oh, that'll scratch you up. Oh, trampling the opposition. Look at this. That ladder is positioned perfectly. For the victory. Hey, he, he can win it here. It's a bit of a risky move right here. Big time. He's returning fire. I don't believe it. Hanging on with a death grip. Please don't fall. Please don't fall. There he goes, right into the corner. Got a hold of it. Yeah, let's see how long that lasts. Cole, I will be shocked if this doesn't end in a... Cena! Oh! Brock's down. The beast is wounded. He's taking this to the floor now. Re-enters under the ropes. Just carrying the opposition anywhere they want. Goldberg setting him up. Here it comes, Byron. We're going to see it. We're going to see it. We're going to see the piercing strike. Race for impact. Here it comes. The beast incarnate with it. With the F5. Bang. Brock could be seconds away. I don't know how there is anything left in these superstars' bodies. Yeah, the tank is being empty tonight. Rocked with the point of the elbow. That's how you stop your opponent. There was some power behind that punch. Jarring impact. The Viper shows his instinct. Ah, oh, drop kick to the spine. And his car has been taking a beating. And you have to wonder if that's affecting his breathing. It is all or nothing at this point. They don't look now that that ladder is lined up perfectly. Show time, and they're taking the fight to the sky. This is insane. The WWE Universe is pouring more fuel on his fire right now. He better run quickly here. I don't know, Michael. It just doesn't appear to be coming down. Suplex. Launched. And this match will head back to the ring. Big opportunity. No. Don't you dare. Oh, this can't gosh. happen. This is it. Oh, my God. Suplex from the top of the ladder. That could end Cena right now. And over the top into a rough landing. Listen to this place. It's unreal. The decibel level in here right now. Oh, you can tell he's feeling it now. This fight is pumping him up. Picture perfect from Orton. Oh, impactful slam. Look at him totally vibing with the WWE Universe right now. Oh, Brock way lays it. Oh, he's able to counter Goldberg. Just a few steps away from victory now. I think it's going to happen. Could be just seconds from victory. Closer even. There's no way it comes down here. None. Zero. Right? Absolutely not. Look at this. Can he grab it? It's inches away. Look at super focused too, Cole. This may very well be it. And just like that, he said crashing to the floor. He returns to the ring. Look out. 
Tagging this outside. This could be good. Look at the snatch of victory here, guys. I think it's going to happen. Four, mental. This is it. Oh, my God. Suplex from the top of the line. Another big move. Frog splash. Mysterio turned his lights off. Big opportunity here, guys. This could be a turning point. Looking on hook. Looking for the win. Here we go. What is taking so long? Pull it down on it. Yeah, hurry, hurry. Knee right to the gut. Looking worse for wear in the corner now. Things went from bad to worse. Cena dodges out of that. Oh, oh into a spine buster. Crippling. Definitely not where you want to be right now. Just carried like a rag doll here. Counters that. And a double DDT. Reigns set for a ride. And he'll leave the ring for this next stretch. Oh, a knee right to the face. That knee is a lethal weapon. Oh, he knew what was coming. Oh, round and round we go. Oh, that hurt. And he has free reign to the outside with no count outs to worry about. Rough landing and misses on the springboard. Counters the Viper's attack. Ooh, chopping down the opposition. The adoration for these superstars is echoing throughout this arena right now. Uh-oh, this is not going to end well. Oh. Stomping. Ouch. Just stomping every single part of his body. Oh, right to the spine with the knee. That was vicious. Uses the edge of the knee. Knee right to the gut. Setting foot in the ring now. In full control here. Caught him right in the jaw. Oh, what a shot. He'll take things into the ring. Bam! Down he goes. Big counter from Reigns. Rey Mysterio now setting him up. Beautiful satellite DDT by Mysterio. And this one might be headed ringside. Attack to the midsection. Boom, right at the bottom. That's just hard to watch. Here we go, right in the center of the ring. A perfect place to set up that ladder. Just a few steps away from victory now. I think it's going to happen. He can win it here, guys. I don't believe it. Just grab it. Grab it. Put those edges headed fingers to good use. Shut up, Saxton. Working to unhook here. Victory is within reach. No time to waste. We've got to get it down now. Comes back into the ring. Oh, oh. It's got to end it this time around. And that stops whatever Goldberg had intended. Oh, right to the spine with the knee. That was vicious. Tagged with a punch. Oh, God. Grab your little dog and warn your aunt. There's an F5 coming through. Somehow, Orton is down. He's got that ladder right where he wants it. Now what? Here we go, making that all-important climb up the ladder. I think this is it. The big dog had that scouted. Looks like that ladder set up perfectly in the center of the ring. Jackhammer! You'll need to hurry up, New York. Reigns has identified the target. Stand by! Great counter, impressive ring IQ on display there. Unhooks it. He wins the ladder match.
Now this is going to be good. Without a doubt, one of the greatest Lucha Libre stars in sports entertainment history. Break out your notepads because we are about to receive a master class in high flying. The following contest is a handicap match. Introducing first from San Diego, California, weighing in at 175 pounds. Ray Mysterio! 
You know, WrestleMania is always special for Ray. He became WWE Champion for the first time at WrestleMania 23. Chad Gable, big opportunity here tonight. And their opponent, representing the Alpha Academy from Minneapolis, Minnesota. Here comes the big man. And representing the Alpha Academy from Superior, Wisconsin, weighing in at 330 pounds, Otis! I gotta tell you, Otis is part of one of my favorite WrestleMania moments of all time when he defended the honor of Mandy Rose. Handicap matches always create a tough predicament, and in this one, it's going to be Rey Mysterio. Across from them, they will be dealing with Chad Gable and Otis. Look, no matter the outcome of this match, taking on such treacherous stipulations shows a heck of a lot of bravery. The difference between bravery and stupidity is paper thin, Saxton. Showing up for this match was on the idiotic side of things. Gable avoids that one. Wow, belly to belly. Vicious right forearm. Three. Holy, meet the barricade. Four. Ray saw that coming. Stops the kick. Oh, oh. windmill kick. Mysterio ready to drop. Six. Finds a counter for Gable. Byron, we talk about the importance of strategy. What can you tell us about creating a game plan for a matchup like this? If you're on the wrong end of the numbers game, a superstar must find a way to limit the options of the other team. Try and eliminate some of your competition. Now, which is why the outnumbered superstar can't waste any time going on the attack. Connected with a standing moonsault. Really just laying it in. There was some power behind that punch. Mysterio. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, snap there. Oh, face first. Exclamation point drop kick. That is reckless abandon being shown and paying off as well. Return fire from Gable. Oh, it gets put into the barricade. DDT. Fast and furious offense from Mysterio. Gable has to gather the energy to turn the tables. He's in under the ropes. Able to get there in time. What a Mayorana. A jumping stop to the gut. Ooh. Otis was ready for that. Uh-oh. Jawbreaker. Call the dentist. more than a superstar can do to put him away. He has a right where he wants it. Oh, look at that. The moonsault. DDT. The damage he's taking is starting to pile up. From the middle rope. Oh, what a splash. Takes another trip to the skies, and it pays off once again. Oh, 
<laughs> Can Gable withstand much more of this? And Mysterio is on a roll. Hellacious power slam. That's using your head. Look at him. Pride and poise personified. Flying Mayorana. That's how you impress. seen Ray coming, caving in the abdomen. Oh, impressive counter. He hits the head scissors. Otis was ready for that. Oh, oh, oh God. Ooh, he's going for the pin. This could be it. Kicks out after one. Kicking out now sends a very clear message. Look out! With a DDT! He's got it. Oh, ho, ho. let's get it on! He's got him scouted! Oh, Swanton! Got the tag! Got the tag! Caught with a clothesline. Oh, incredible dragon suplex. Drop kick right to the knee. Right on the patella. Oh, drop right across the neck. Ray's veteran instincts on display. And Ray Mysterio connected nicely right there. And Ray now with a springboard frog splash. Absolutely amazing. Is that what it takes to beat Gable? Yeah. Boom! Ooh, hoo, hoo. This could do it! He's able to beat a two count. Right now, I just don't know what it's going to take. Great counter. Double underhook. Power bomb. Does he get him here? Fights the shoulder up in one. It's hard to believe, but it looks like he still has some gas left in the tank. Looks like Gable is feeling the physicality of this contest. Don't count Gable out yet. Scratch and claw. He can really stand to give back as good as he's getting right about now. Now is the time for Chad Gable to find a way to shift into that extra gear. This has been a colossal battle to this point. No superstar is showing signs of backing down. We are seeing all their best on display, but it might just come down to who can take advantage of a pivotal mistake. What's going to happen here? Double team action on the way. Ah, down on the face. Jumping elbow drop. Getting tossed. Chad Gable with the tag. Looking wobbly in the corner. Gable on the receiving end. And a clothesline. Gable avoids that one. Snapmare could set something else up. Delivering the suplex. Elbow drop on target. Heading up, he's thinking back. Oh my God! That one fails to land. Missed the mark. He turns it around. Oh, what a mayorana! 
When you're in an atmosphere like this, when you can't hear yourself think because the crowd's so loud, you find a way to do superhuman things. That's what these combatants are doing here. Ray's veteran instincts on display. Mysterio from the top. Gable avoids that one. Uh, able to counter. Oof, and all the impact brought to the knee. Flame Mayorana. That's how you impress. Take advantage. These two showing how well scouted they each are. Ooh, slam with authority. And the effects of this match able to be shaken off by Gable there. Yeah, Mysterio could be in danger of getting taken out here. What a shot. What are we going to see here? Oh, a neck breaker. Any more hits in that area could leave him dizzy. And he sends him into the corner. Gable on the receiving end. Oh, God. Every person in this capacity crowd is on their feet. And with good reason. These superstars are earning all of their respect. Here we go. Round and round. Satellite DDT. Great counter, perfect position. Here we go. 619. And right now, the elusiveness from Gable. Drop yeah. kick down low. There are no words for the ride these fans have gone through in this match. It has been a roller coaster, and I don't think the ups and downs are over yet. Rey Mysterio bringing that trademark energy. Otis has run into a roadblock, and Otis taking on further damage. Count on Rey Mysterio to still have energy this far into the match. Ooh! -hoo. with the reversal. Oh, look at this. The power. Worlds. Will this be enough? The referee clearly out of position. Here are your winners, Otis and Chad Gable. The This was a truly spectacular win. Absolutely. That's the kind of win that can catapult you to bigger and better things.
These two couldn't even wait to get in the ring before they went at it. What does that tell you, Cole? Neckbreaker!
So here we go, Extreme Rules, basically anything goes. You can win by pinfall or submission. Every hold, every surface, every object in the arena is all fair game for these combatants. Oh, that'll rock you. Oh, that can rock you. Saw that coming. And the DDT! Oh, look at that torch of their opponent. Uh oh, this isn't going to be good. Oh, oh, man. The stomp in every single part of his body. Uncorks another one. Big impact off the neck breaker. Counter by Edge. Drop kick. Is there something to focus on when preparing for this career altering match? You gotta accept the fact that you're gonna be punished like you've never been punished before. And no mercy will be given. In this situation, you can completely unload on your opponent and a referee's count can't stop you. You can set the rule book ablaze. Stiff forearm shot. Big punch finds its mark. Face, he goes for the cover. And only a one count. Trying to catch him off guard with that attempt. Single leg drop kick. Big forearm. Oh, brutal forearm. The man's looking a little bit shaken. Yeah, but he expected extreme pain in an extreme rules match. This one is headed outside, guys. He's outside the ring now. Hope he's got a plan. Stiff forearm shot. Had Miz's playbook scouted. Big right connects. Back in under the ropes. Getting back into the ring. Headbutt! So much aggression. You can see the dismay on the face of The Miz. Not an A-list performance here from Miz. Absolutely no telling what's underneath the ring tonight. WWE Universe wants tables. Well, they've got tables. He's rummaging for some sort of equalizer underneath the ring. Taking things to another level. Bringing out the ladder like this. He's heading back to the ring. Single leg drop kick caught him. Oh man, drop kick. A steady charge here from Edge. Edge cashing in on his game plan. Now Miz looking for some momentum. Also a good chance for Miz to gain his wits about it. in serious trouble here and finds his way out. Miz counters with an attack. Drop kick. Beautiful. Climbing the turnbuckle now. Taking flight. Body splash. Looking for the victory. He breaks the ref's count after one. Wow. Close line. takes a big hit. Ah, 
God, look at this. So much damage inflicted. He's getting pushed out of the def Look at it in here. This could be it. And a strong kick out at one. I'm just as shocked as everyone else, Cole. His opponent included. Single leg drop kick caught him. Oh, no. Look who's arrived. Things are about to get worse for this superstar. Well, it's no disqualification. Taking this one back to the ring now. The slugshammer, how are you recover from that? And now he's giving you up. Oof. He gets what he deserves for all that gloating. And gentlemen, the Miz may be fading away here. Holding on by a thread, maybe even less at this point. Enough is enough. Just bludgeoning their opponent. Edge on the receiving end. There's the backbreaker and the neckbreaker. Vintage Miz. Edge predicted that one. Miz gets out of the way. And another counter. How much longer can these superstars continue to fend off defeat? Every obstacle's been met with equal measures of tenacity. It's going to take a lot to close this one out. Tough position to be caught in here. Ooh, going over the top all the way to the floor. And he has free reign to the outside with no countouts to worry about. Overhand connects. Great counter by the Miz. And he goes into the ring. He's reminding his competition that they'll only ever be second best. On the top. Top and down. To the table. Looks like he has something planned with this table, guys. I don't want to know. Tough position to be caught in here. Down through the table. Single leg drop kick caught him. The Miz at the complete mercy of his opponent. Not looking so awesome for Miz here. Look at this. DDT. Ow. The WWE Universe is on its feet. And deservedly so. These superstars are holding nothing back. Here it comes. Skull crushing finale. The Miz had him measured. Two count. Ah, oh, he was almost finished. Edge is displaying an enormous amount of grit right now. The Miz almost tried to appeal. Oh, taking it right to him. No waiting. Trying to find his bearings, but it looks like his end is near. Single leg drop kick caught him. Spear! Is it enough for Edge? Spear! That has got to be the one. 
It's been a struggle for these competitors to find an end to this match. But this He's going for the pin. This could be it. Oh. Two, and that'll finally do it. What a victory. Here is your winner, the rated R Superstar. Edge. Impressive win for him here. The ultimate opportunist figured out a way to win here tonight. In just a few years, the SmackDown Women's title has gone from blue-haired stepchild to arguably the most hotly contested title in the women's division. Think of who
The following contest is scheduled for one fall and is for the SmackDown Women's Championship. She calls herself the EST. Cole Byron's like the EST of the commentary team. The worst? The dumbest. The ugliest. Hey, that, that, those are dumb examples. Watch what you say. There is just a different energy when the EST is here. A spectacular athlete, former star of track and weightlifting, Bianca Belair has next-level stamina and power inside the ring. Without question, one of the absolute best in the women's division. Here comes the queen, the franchise, and the self-proclaimed opportunity. You know, the WWE Universe, at least many in it, believe that she's been handed title opportunities in main events. Well, many of those same doubters live in their parents' basements, Cole. I wouldn't necessarily value their opinion. This is Charlotte Flair. This is the queen. This is the opportunity. So, Byron, from your parents' basement, what do you feel about Charlotte Flair? First of all, I moved out last week, Michael. And second of all, I do think Charlotte's ego can be a bit out of control at times. After everything Charlotte Flair has accomplished in her career, her ego is allowed to be as big as it possibly can be. She's got an amazing robe. Saxton, how have you not learned by now? You need to open the ropes for the queen. Corey, haven't you heard? I'm no longer on robe duty. Oh, I didn't get that memo. Introducing the challenger from Knoxville, Tennessee, Bianca Belair. And introducing the champion from the Queen City, the SmackDown Women's Champion, Charlotte. And we're about to see a chapter in the history of the SmackDown women's title. everyone who holds the SmackDown Women's title has managed to make it their own and bring a special something to their reign. That's right. This title is an opportunity to change the perception of being a champion. Someone will get that chance tonight. Kick from behind. Ouch. My goodness, did you hear that chop? Ooh, pinpointing the trachea. Belair gets countered. 
turnbuckle is the only thing keeping her upright. She flips it back on her. Forearm to the oh, face. Oh, nothing fancy about that. Oh, that's got to sting your back. Charlotte is such a deliberate, methodical superstar. Loves to break opponents down and soften them up on her path to victory. How do you counteract an in-ring competitor like Charlotte? Stick and move, Cole. Stick and move. She can't... Uh-oh. She could be setting up for a submission here. And now looking to get it locked in. The EST, mate! A single leg camel clutch oh, and a great no. counter. Interesting. There's the... No! A driver! Ooh. Well measured. Oh, man, right to the esophagus. Set crashing to the floor. Out of the ring, she has to mind the 10 count. Neck breaker. Laid out with a power slam. Two. Three. Series of elbows looking to create separation. She does so. Four. Spear. The champ taking their share of hits now. Charlotte Waylaser. Able to interrupt the attack. Oh. Bianca gets rescinded right back. This match is coming down to the last second. Someone's got to get back to the ring now. Eight. Wow, what timing beats the count. Seemed like a count out to me, guys. Belair predicted that. Sharp Whoa. chop. Oh, and she turns it around. If this works, it could change the course of the match. You can sense what her intentions are here. From the top, diving double axe handle. Oh, agile movement. Standing shooting star. Uneasy lies the head that wears the crown. The queen's in danger. Bianca Belair has her in possession. Coyote, the kiss of death. The title's in jeopardy here. I think the paradigm has shifted. The cover. One, two, what a kick out at two. Guys, I thought we were getting a new champion there. Uh, well, we might see a new champ here tonight. Don't put the cart before the horse. The champ kicked out and has no intentions on losing that title anytime soon. I don't know if Belair has ever been more shocked in her career. That was not at all what she was expecting. Flair is falling behind now. Great speed with these attacks, and it's the stick-and-move approach at work. Charlotte may not even know what just hit her. Charlotte showing how much punishment she can withstand before dishing out some of her own. The U-turn Charlotte needed in this match could have been that right there. Ah! Ooh, and a reversal. Oh, oh, oh. Gosh. Bianca is showing zero restraint. Charlotte's got to find a way to put her best foot forward here. Counter. Brief sign of adrenaline from her. Spear. Here it comes. Neck breaker. Made her pay 
looking for her mistake. Reciprocating the initial reversal. Double comes. chicken wing up and slam! We are seeing a lot of guts, a lot of determination out there. You have to wonder where that one turning point to end this will come from. The champ has been taken to their limit. And this is, uh, well, it's not looking good. Charlotte needs to say goodnight. Kiss of death to KOD. The title might change hands. Cover. Title change. We have a title change. Here is your winner, and the new SmackDown Women's Champion, Bianca Belair! An exciting match that concludes with a title-changing hands. I thought the defending champion had this well in hand, but the new champ had other plans. It just goes to show you anything can happen in WWE.
Here comes the queen, the franchise, and the self-proclaimed opportunity. The following contest is scheduled for one fall, making her way to the ring from the Queen City, Charlotte Flair. You know, the WWE Universe, at least many in it, believe that she's been handed title opportunities in main events. Well, many of those same doubters live in their parents' basements, Cole. I wouldn't necessarily value their opinion. This is Charlotte Flair. This is the queen. This is the opportunity. So, Byron, from your parents' basement, what do you feel about Charlotte Flair? First of all, I moved out last week, Michael. And second of all, I do think Charlotte's ego could be a bit out of control at times. After everything Charlotte Flair has accomplished in her career, her ego is allowed to be as big as it possibly can be. She's got an amazing robe. Saxton, how have you not learned by now? You need to open the ropes for the queen. Corey, haven't you heard? I'm no longer on robe duty. Oh, I didn't get that memo. And here comes the woman who calls herself the man. And from Dublin, Ireland, the Raw Women's Champion, Becky Lynch. And tonight she squares off against a competitor who Byron was once her best friend. Once best friend, now bitter enemies. You know, you look at all the success Charlotte Flair had here in WWE, all the championship success. Becky Lynch said, listen, Charlotte, I know you've done a lot, but you never did anything to elevate the title the way I have. As a second-generation superstar, Charlotte Flair has made a concerted effort over the years to forge her own path here in WWE. True, but you can't deny the influence that her father has had on her career. An expert planner, a mastermind even, like Charlotte's, didn't just pick that talent up off the street. A fair point. No matter your thoughts on her method, Charlotte has thrived both in and out of the ring, in large part due to her ability to scheme and connive. Yeah, well, what I want to look for in this match is has success gone to Becky Lynch's head? Is she so consumed with adoration that perhaps her focus can wane a bit? Uh, I'm very doubtful of that.
Here comes the queen, the franchise, and the self-proclaimed opportunity. The following contest is a ladder match. Making her way to the ring from the Queen City, Charlotte Flair. You know, the WWE Universe, at least many in it, believe that she's been handed title opportunities in main events. Well, many of those same doubters live in their parents' basements, Cole. I wouldn't necessarily value their opinion. This is Charlotte Flair. This is the queen. This is the opportunity. So, Byron, from your parents' basement, what do you feel about Charlotte Flair? First of all, I moved out last week, Michael. And second of all, I do think Charlotte's ego can be a bit out of control at times. After everything Charlotte Flair has accomplished in her career, her ego is... And here comes the woman who calls herself the man. And from Dublin, Ireland, the Raw Women's Champion, Becky Lynch. And tonight she squares off against a competitor who Byron was once her best friend. Once best friend, now bitter enemies. You know, you look at all the success Charlotte Flair had here in WWE, all the championship success. Becky Lynch said, listen, Charlotte, I know you've done a lot, but you never did anything to elevate the title the way I have. Electric feeling in the air as the WWE anticipates the dangers of this ladder match. Everyone paid for a full seat, but are only going to need the edge on this one. Each competitor ready to do whatever it takes to climb the ladder. Ah, Charlotte caught by the counter. Taking it to the floor. What's she going to do? From the apron. Good Lord. Taking flight. And Becky anticipated that. She avoids the contact. Here's the pump handle. Suplex. Launched. What a clothesline. Ouch. What a forearm smash. Dodges. Oh, my goodness. Ooh, well planted knee. Ouch. Intercepted by the man. Becky Lynch setting up for the, the Bexploder. Byron, let's talk strategy. What is an approach a superstar can take to give them the best chance of winning a ladder match? Well, take out all of your opponents before making that climb up the ladder. Find a way to eliminate your competition so you have a clear path up the ladder. It's something that takes timing, skill, and a little bit of luck. But I think the risk is worth the reward in this scenario. She wants to take this one outside the... Up high! Oh, she lands hard. Outside of the ring now. What's the plan here? Clothesline. Showing her competition what a real superstar looks like. Quick return to the ring. Flair thrown hard to the outside. She shoots up the top rope. Dangerous thinking. With no count outs, there's nothing keeping her inside the ring. Reversal. Can she capitalize? She sent flying into the corner. Oh, elbow. Things taking a turn for her now. Right to the kidneys from behind. And a kick. Becky holds her off. Close line. Oh, that'll leave a mark. She's taking things to ringside. Heading back to the ring. 
Turned around, hook in the leg. Samoan driver. Flair moved at the right time. Drop kick. Close line to the back of the neck. And set him up. Oh, oh the knee to the face. That's going to hurt. She's losing some steam now. Yeah, the effects of this ladder match are not going to go away anytime soon. Now, laser focused on the temple and back of the neck. Point of the elbow, nailed it. The queen is stalking a staggered Becky. Tossed by the neck. Charlotte is looking unstoppable now. The queen is holding the leverage in this match. The end for Lynch could be on its way. Ooh, what a chop. Natural selection. End of the line for Becky. that turn back on her. Drop kick hits the mark. And attacking above the shoulders has become the strategy here. Becky can't stop this string of offense. Becky's facing adversity here. Stomping down! I guess that's one way to incite your opponent. Snap suplex. Becky Lynch with a great shot. All measured up. Ah, oh, drop kick to the spine. Ooh, sharp kick. Launching. Diving leg drop from way up high. Getting the ladder set up right in the center of the ring. A picture-perfect location. Making her way up the ladder now. Absolutely no fear in her. Definitely not where you want to be right now. Just carried like a ragdoll here. Scaling the ladder now. Here she goes, but can she get it loose? Doesn't appear to have a good handle on it. Reach, reach. Oh my gosh, what impact. Oh my gosh, oh my god. Lands an elbow. with the Lariat. What a shot! Making the climb here. Maybe looking to end this thing right now. No, 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 no! Oh, my God! Oh, my God! There's a total miscalculation on that. Looks to me like that ladder's positioned perfectly in the center of the ring. Now you just gotta climb. Oh, and Becky fights back. Quick exchange of counters there. And she finds an answer to Charlotte. Why is she still boasting around? She's in a fight for goodness sake. Would you look at this? She is removing the turnbuckle pad now. Powerless position to be in right now. Oh, put down face first. Ooh, well planted knee. Ouch. Charlotte's eyes tracking, measuring her up. Becky moves out of the way. Suplex. And Becky refusing to let up on the fight even for a moment. Here's where Charlotte's ability to endure could get called into question. What a slam! Impactful will jar your spine. 
Oh, man. Becky is dismantling that arm. She's getting that ladder position perfectly. Well, uh, setting it up is one thing. Climbing it is entirely different. Look at this. That ladder is positioned perfectly. For the victory. Try to sneak a victory here. Guys, I'll be amazed if this is where the match ends. You and me both. Forearm smash on the lap. Oh, no. No way. It's not off the top of the ladder. No, 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 no. Will that sew this up for Becky? This is awesome. This is awesome. Getting a ladder in position now. Smack dab in the center of the ring, too, Cole. Making the climb here. Maybe looking to end this thing right now. Oh, here we go. Looks to me like that ladder's positioned perfectly in the center of the ring. Now you just gotta climb. Now all the way from the top of the ladder. She lands this, it's over! The snowflakes off the top of the ladder! That might topple the queen. Oh, the reversal by Becky Lynch. Look at this, that ladder is positioned perfectly. For the victory. Ooh. Oh, man. Ooh. Countering the queen. Boom, what a slap. Connecting with a sharp elbow. She's calling for it. Oh, a chop. Selection. Bow to the crown. It's over. I don't know. Climbing the ladder at this point seems to be a bit ambitious. Hey, it's never too early to try. She's got her eyes on the proverbial prize now. Hey, you miss 100% of the shots you don't take, right? Yeah, but when you miss a shot, you don't usually fall 15 feet. Oh, my gosh. We are seeing no quit. From the man, and the queen isn't bowing down either. Power bomb! Oh man, leg drop, arm breaker! Oh man, landed hard. Looks like that ladder set up perfectly in the center of the ring. Looking to unhook it here. Here we go. Going for it all. I love it. Unhooks it. She wins the ladder match. Here is your winner, Becky Lynch. This whole thing started at SummerSlam a couple of years ago when Becky and Charlotte were friends. I don't think there's going to be a reunion after what we saw tonight. <laughs> yeah, that is...
The following contest is a ladder match and is for the Raw Women's Championship. Here comes the queen, the franchise, and the self-proclaimed opportunity. You know, the WWE Universe, at least many in it, believe that she's been handed title opportunities in main events. Well, many of those same doubters live in their parents' basements, Cole. I wouldn't necessarily value their opinion. This is Charlotte Flair. This is the queen. This is the opportunity. So, Byron, from your parents' basement, what do you feel about Charlotte Flair? First of all, I moved out last week, Michael. And second of all, I do think Charlotte's ego can be a bit out of control at times. After everything Charlotte Flair has accomplished in her career, her ego is allowed to be as big as it possibly can be. She's got an amazing robe. Saxton, how have you not learned by now? You need to open the ropes for the queen. Corey, haven't you heard? I'm no longer on robe duty. Oh, I didn't get that memo. It's Miss Money in the bank. This is it, guys. The title is up for grabs here. And this might be the most highly anticipated title defense in recent memory. Major title defense. Can she handle the pressure of this match? This is all about being on top of the women's division on Monday Night Raw. Waving the red brand flag high and proud. That is what the Raw Women's Championship means to these women. She gets Becky with a counter. Ah, oh, jeez. Boom, what a kick. Ah, oh, trampling the opposition. Oh, that backfired on her. Oh, God, Lynch looking to destroy the arm. Boom, what impact. Moves outside. What's the plan here? She's in the ring now. Guided down with force. Byron, what can be the deciding factor when this type of match goes beyond a one-on-one -on -one encounter? Oh, climbing up the ladder could be a challenging enough, but on the top, diving double axe handle. She heads out of the ring. Interesting strategy. Coming back into the ring. Back to the action. Oh, right to the jaw. Oh, the reversal by Becky Lynch. Now she's allowing the WWE Universe to simply soak it all in. Hammer lock. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Oh, the weakening arm breaker. Challenger's a little worse for wear now. <laughs> oh, what a punch. Counter. And now there's an opening. Oh, what a chop. Ooh, she 
responds with a counter. Oh my god, a clothesline. Oh. Oh, what a shot. Beautiful neck breaker. Queen setting up. Oh, knee drop. Woo! Constant pressure being kept on Becky. Flair is making the opposition bow down. Ooh, well planted knee. Ouch. Uh oh, position in. Measuring. Ah, the knee right to the face. Oh, she's removing the turnbuckle pad. Come on, this isn't right. Bad predicament right here. Launch face first. Those last hits rattled the champ. Yeah, Cole, taking this much damage now seriously impacts your speed up the ladder. Ah, oh, Charlotte caught by the counter. Becky able to stop the blitz that was coming her way. Becky weathered the storm and wants to create a flurry of her own. This is an unyielding attack from Charlotte. Yeah, Becky's completely at the mercy of the Queen right now. Nice half kick, great elevation. Oh, look at the knees. Endless knee strikes. Ooh, what a chop. Natural selection. We could have a new champion. Knee drop hits the mark. It's always disorienting taking those hits above the shoulders. Absolutely no telling what's underneath the ring tonight. She's getting something from under the ring. Oh boy, come on, not the chair. Put into place a humiliating slap. Oh, he's punishing the right arm. Hooked up. Fisherman suplex. Oh, that'll leave a mark. Hard for the champ to fight back from this. Yeah, this is not good. You don't say, Saxton. Becky Lynch on the move. Not finished yet. Counter by Charlotte. Bullseye with the drop kick. Ooh, well planted knee. Ouch. Uh oh. Position in. Measuring. In knee drop hits the mark. To reverse. Oh, close line. She re enters the ring now. Just carrying the opposition anywhere they want. From the ring all the way to the floor. The Queen. Whoa, what a landing. And after that, you know things have just kicked up a notch. Pedal to the metal right now. Knife edge chop. Woo! Oh, great. Rearranging our ringside furniture here. Clearing the announce desk. What a mess. Got to find a way to get out of this. Oh, God. Oh. 
Everyone get out of the way. These two are abandoning all restraints. And Becky anticipated that. And she finds an answer to Charlotte. Schoolboy. Wait, no! Into a power bomb! Overhand right lands. Up to the electric chair, down for the drop. Ah, oh, face first off the post. All right, back to it, returning to the ring. Oh, boy. Kendo stick in hand. Nefarious look in her eyes. And Becky more than living up to her last kicker moniker there. Becky's staying alive, but you just know she's got to be thinking of a way to end all of this as soon as humanly possible. Kendo stick impact. Lynch responds. Oh. Boom. Bam. And each of these lethal maneuvers have got to be taking a toll. There is nothing but malintent behind... Oof, she is not amused in the slightest. Close line! And the attacks up there must be taking their toll. Her vision's got to be seeing some dark spots at this point. Becky and Charlotte are showing us what makes them the very best in the business. This match has been non-stop highlights. A oh, foot just stomping down. She's fighting back. Both superstars showing great awareness of their opponent's repertoire. The Queen is stalking a staggered Becky. Lynch saw it coming. Look at this, going counter for counter. Saw that one coming. She scores big with the counter. Ooh, bullseye. She's been trying to put her away by targeting that area all night, and she might have just accomplished that. I don't know how much more her opponent can take. Charlotte turning the tide to her favor. Charlotte exhibiting that genetic superiority. Ah, Charlotte caught by the counter. Becky able to stop the blitz that was coming her way. Becky weathered the storm and wants to create a flurry of her own. Reverse DDT. Close line to the back of the neck. What are we going to see here? Yeah. Face buster. What a counter. Ooh, she just turned it around. Bang. Drop kick. Ah, oh, the reversal by Becky Lynch. Ooh. Here's the pump handle. Suplex. Launched. And back into the ring she goes. Oh, oh, oh good night. Sorry. Getting tossed. No count out as she takes this fight to the floor. Oh, look at that. Embracing her adoring public. Comes back into the ring. Face Jumping face first. buster. Answering back. Kick right to the leg. She's got an answer for that. Right across the face. Or a pump handle. Pump handle coming. Pump handle suplex. Oh, a chop. Oh, kick connects. Countering the queen. Caught square by the haymaker. The WWE Universe willing these superstars on. Pumping the adrenaline they so desperately need right now. Uh, 
Oh, the elbow connects. Knee strike. Ooh, what a damaging blow. Had that one scouted. There's a crucifix. Nicely done. Oh, nice deep arm drag. Forcing separation with a well-placed kick. Ouch. Textbook vertical suplex. Bam. Come on, Becky fights back. Yikes, that'll either wake you up or knock you out. Oh! She manages to get control. Now will be the time for everyone to... up on the table what what's next whatever it is it's not gonna be good and no! to the table high risk high reward She goes back inside the ropes. Getting the ladder set up now. This could be the beginning of the end. Up the ladder she goes. Getting set on a prize now. Gonna need a better grip on that. Yeah, no way that's coming down. She's going for it. Could this possibly be her moment? I think we might find out. Nobody in this building thinks the match can end here. I think so. Go home. Telling her opposition, you... Ooh, refusing to let her get into her head. Momentum is running away from Becky fast. Becky's fighting spirit needs to cause a change here. You never know. This could be it. Oh. Going for all the glory here, guys. Beginning that all in... No, don't you dare. Oh, this can't gosh. happen. This is it. Oh, my God. Oh, suplex off the ladder. Another one bites the dust to the champ. She's making the climb now, guys. And here we go. Time to find out how bad she wants it. Perhaps some wishful thinking going on there, Michael. And this one might be headed ringside. And now she's getting back into the ring. Oh, man. Oh, my God. Just a few steps away from victory now. I think it's going to happen. Not quite there yet, but don't stop now. An aggressive move going for it now, but I, I think I like it. It's not going to work out. Oh, my. Hanging on for dear life. No ladder, just a long fall awaiting them. And Flair gets that turn back on her. Finds the advantage after a string of counts. Oof. Kick finds it. Oh, stomping away. Here's the pump handle. Suplex. Launched. Dropkick with precision. A oh, chop. Natural selection. The champ's eyes look glazed over. She's setting it up right in the middle of the ring. Right under the prize. Perfect. Big opportunity here, guys. This could be a turning point. 
so no, 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 no! You're insane! You're insane! Good golly, that is gonna break them both in half. And look at this now, yes, applying the submission hold. I'm gonna tap out here, but it ain't gonna matter. You still do a lot of damage, though. And the agony has no reason to end as we see her tapping out in pain. And this might not have a pleasant ending. Up and over! Look at the snatch of victory here, guys. I think it's gonna happen! I don't know, guys. This does not look good. Yes, it does. It looks great. Re-entering the ring now. Oh, the ladder! Look at this, Byron, getting that ladder position. Perfectly placed, if you ask me. Big clothesline. Charlotte maintaining a ruthless attack. Charlotte exhibiting that genetic superiority. Lynch now on the offensive. And that could be a first step towards Becky gaining control. Becky weathered the storm and wants to create a flurry of her own. And she finds an answer to Charlotte. Oh, it's in her grasp. Figuratively and literally. Pulling something down from that height certainly ain't easy. Tell me about it. Oh, catastrophic damage on the back. Becky looks lost out there. It could be the end for her soup. <laughs> what a chop. Not done yet. Selection. The title might change hands. Big opportunity here, guys. This could be it. Turning point. Gonna try to win it right here. Make no mistake about it. This match could end right here, right now. It could, but I don't think it will. And that's it. The champion is defeated.